This is already looking like a way bigger job than I thought it was gonna be. Why, why Christy? Why didn't you just do this this summer like you were planning, smarty? Hello, I'm Christy and that's Andre. And earlier this year, we moved into this 30 foot travel trailer. We had some early rains this year <laughs> and come to find out yesterday when I went into the bathroom, let me show you the bathroom. This light over here, which I've now taken out of the ceiling, had this lens on it up like so, and it was full of water. Yep, how did I notice? Because I was using the restroom and all of a sudden, little drip, drip, drips of water started coming out of this lens that had developed a little puddle of water sitting in there. So I got the screwdriver, unscrewed this sucker and saw that there was moisture coming from the ceiling. That's not good, people. That's not something we want to see happening in our RV. So that alerted me to the fact that I have not taken proper care of the roof and there is likely a leak happening on the roof. So when we moved in here, we had grand plans of taking great care of our RV and I purchased everything we needed to, to seal up our roof before the rains came. But what happened was that we took a little vacation in early October and as soon as we got back, boom, we had like flash floods and really intense rains, not normal in California at this time of year. So we just never did our seals on our roof and I thought, oh, it's okay. We're not having any leaks, but obviously that's not the case. Oh my God, <laughs> hummingbird. That hummingbird, did you see it? It just like came right up to my hand. That hummingbird. I thought that, that was a flower, I guess. I don't know. I guess, yeah, the, the dead cat, the microphone right here, the hummingbird came like, it was like a couple inches away from it. <laughs> <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. I mean, though I love hummingbirds. That's cool that we have a hummingbird over here. Well, anyways, I think that hummingbird is a sign that it's time to shut the heck up and get to work. <laughs> so I'm up here on the roof, the roof of our RV. Those are our neighbors back there. And I'm above the bathroom where I found the leak. And I suspect that the leak could be coming from this dome, this is the dome that goes over the shower and you might be able to see there's some cracking in here. So some water could have gotten in there. And I actually saw like a little bit of, of a pool of water here yesterday when I found the leak. Or this over here is the dome that goes over our, um, what do you call it, our fan in the bathroom. And so this needs to come up. I need to get a socket wrench to bring this whole thing up and then check the seals underneath here to make sure they're good and fix any of them that aren't. I'm already suspecting there could be some leakage over here. It's like, it's like the roof is like flexy and it feels like it's coming up a little bit. Okay, so we got our work to do for today. And I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So I've got the razor tool I'm gonna be using here and there's a uh, actual razor blade on one side and then a plastic razor blade on the other. So I'm going to give this a try and see if I can scrape off this old gunky cruddy stuff. Oh god, this is hard. This is not coming off. Just not moving. Putty knife. Let's try that. Can I dig into it? Is that the thing to do? Holy shit, it's going to be harder than I thought. I'm just trying to get the brown stuff off to get, just get in there. Okay, I'm gonna just try to scrape off the top portion of it. Holy moly. That is just gonna take forever, isn't it? I don't know, this is gonna be so <laughs> annoying and hard. Oh crap. <clears throat> Look at that, see there's water like coming out of that crack. So <clears throat> I think this is, could easily be the culprit for the leak. And so this seems really important to tackle today. Oh my God, this is just 
not gonna be easy, is it? I'm really lost as to how other people do this on YouTube and make it look so easy. I'm already down one razor. I'm like five minutes in, already down one razor, and I think I'm gonna go through a lot of razors today. How do I get this sucker back in there? Oh my God, this is messy, <laughs> tricky and messy work. Aha! Figured it out without cutting my finger off. Yeah, yeah, isn't that great? Yeah, after like five minutes of work, I got like three inches done. And this is my pile of trash. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, but it's gotta get done. I'm now on the other side of the vent. I'm working over here. And I don't know why, but some of this is deciding to come up easily. So check this out. It's amazing. <laughs> you ready for the exciting thing? Here we go, look at this. Uh, there's the screw. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it! I got a big chunk all at once. Let's see if I can get some more. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, it's still kind of hard to get it. Hey, coming off in chunks like that is a big deal to me because this whole other side was like... But we're making progress. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh. I have finished up with problem area number one. And considering how challenging that was, I think I did a pretty good job. I started to kind of like lose it here at the end and cut some more holes in the roofing material. But overall, for a first timer and dealing with some really tricky, dry, old sealant. I think I did a pretty good job. Now I'm gonna scrub this up with some soap and water and let it dry out before I put on the new sealant. And I'm also going to work on this potential problem area in the front cap of the RV. And maybe I'll get Andre up here to help me. vent right here and it's super dirty so it's good that we took that off to clean it but also we notice that there's an obvious crack right here and so that's a big no-no water is definitely getting in there um, so we'll go ahead and clean this up real good fortunately I don't think I'll have to scrape too much it seems to be really cleaned really well and then we'll put down new lap sealant over here so I'm glad we caught that and what a bummer that water has been getting in here um, it's rained a few times so far this winter, but hopefully we caught it soon enough so that we're not going to have, um, too much of an issue. We are almost done with the grueling task of getting the old lap sealant off, but I'm struggling so much to get this really dry old crusty stuff off of the end cap or was it the head cap, whatever it's called the front of the trailer. So I'm going to take this old toothbrush and see if I can scrub it clean enough for the new lap sealant. And I also have this thing. So let's see what we can do. Okay. Moment of truth. What kind of results do we get? Soapy water solution. It's not maple syrup. It's an old maple syrup container. I'm just put my toothbrush in there and let's see how it goes. Okay. Uh, it's not as clean as I want it to be. I don't know if that's gonna do it. Odorless mineral spirits. spirits. Mineral spirits. Is this gonna work? Uh, that is working. That's much better. Andre figured it out. Mineral spirits plus toothbrush. 
It's still really dirty, but... Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Uh -huh. scrub -a -thon. So this head cap is not nearly as clean or prepared as I would like it to be, but we just don't have the time or the willpower to do any better right now. So I'm hoping that this is clean enough. I got up caulking here on the actual head cap and we cleaned up as much of this as we can. You see it's cracked, it's covering screws and it needs to be filled in again with lap sealant. So I'm hoping that the new lap sealant will adhere to this. I'm kind of worried that it won't, but we're cleaning it up as much as we can. It's way too um, intensive to try and scrape it off. It takes a long time, it's really hard to do. And we're just hoping that putting a nice new thick coat of lap sealant on top will be enough for now because we are losing the daylight and we're ready to put this lap sealant on and be done with this project. Just kidding, I don't have to go downstairs because Andre is bringing up the lap sealant. By the way, the reason why our roof looks like this is because of those trees, those beautiful redwood trees. Got the lap sealant. Got the lap sealant. Time to party. You got a cock gun. I've never loaded a cock gun before. I need to show me how. <laughs> <laughs> Never loaded a cut, man, before. Okay. So you just put it in there. Put it in there. Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Andre's amazing demonstration of how to load a cock gun. I feel like we can make it kind of big, but you can always cut it bigger, right? Okay, hey, I did it. I, that looks pretty good, right? Professional. For my first time. So I'm giving it some pressure in there so that it actually goes into the corner. It's like I'm placing a line into the corner. Ah. It's a lot nicer when you're not trying to record and do the caulking at the same time. Also, I'm on the edge of a roof. In here. We are almost done, and I think we've made some major improvements to our roof. This is the dome that I think was contributing to our moisture problem. And this is the lap sealant that is self-leveling and it's flowing all over the place. We made sure I covered up any um, open cracks in the roof. And so that's gonna dry and be awesome. We just touched up this thing. This is like a little um, How much vent this for do the I tanks. Put in there? What do you mean? How much of this do I put in there? Just, just start and see, and you can go back and add more later. So Andre is filling the self-leveling cock into the... Why don't you just start... Can I... Yes. Not to worry, we quickly resolved our domestic dispute, and Andre is getting the self-leveling cock in there. For our first time, I don't think we did so bad. We will find out. It's going to be getting dark soon, so I'm going to let this cure. I hope the temperature's not an issue. It's a little bit cool out. Hopefully it'll cure just fine. I'll come back tomorrow, check on this with you, and we'll see. We'll find out if it's working or if we have more issues to deal with. So it's been 24 hours and I'm taking you with me to check on the roof. I don't know if I can get up here and hold this camera. So, can I do one? Oh, there we go. Ha, we did it. This is the tricky part, the little exchange 
from ladder to roof. Socket set, socket wrench. We're up here at the roof <laughs> to check on the status of our seals. I put the sealant on, never having done this before, and it was a little bit cold. It's actually quite cold. It was probably in the low to mid 50s when I put the sealant on and it got down to the low 30s overnight. But you can see that it's pretty good. The caulking, this is the um, non-leveling caulking we put on the outside. And this like whiter, more wet stuff is the self-leveling. It apparently can take up to a month to fully cure. It's still a little bit sticky, but it's it's dry enough that there's like it's dry enough that there's a seal over it and it's it's got like a skin on top. And so this is what we need to address tonight. This is our our bathroom fan right here. And this lid is not watertight and has this that goes on top of it to prevent water from getting in so we can have the fan open even when it's raining. So we're going to go ahead and put the lid back on. But I, I feel really good about this. I think it's looking way good, way better than it was. And is that a feather? Oh, like a little bird feather got stuck. That's kind of cute. I feel much more positive about the rain coming because now we're all sealed up and hopefully no leaks, no leaks to report. I don't remember how these things, how do these even, How do you feel knowing that our roof is sealed? Um, good. Accomplished, like we did something. So, Me too. It's always good. We did do something. Something important too. Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. That one we can wiggle in some more. Well, it's getting dark, so I better finish up this video. Thank you for joining us here on the roof. Andre, do you have any tips or words of advice for people doing lap sealant for the first time? Just make sure it's dry. Make what sure. do you mean, make sure it's dry? Make sure it's dry. Like the surface before you put the stuff on? Well, no, just like after you put the sealant on, make sure it's dry. Check to make sure yeah, you haven't had a catastrophic failure. I think my advice on the other end is to do it and do it early <laughs> because the problem for us was we didn't get our sealant done early enough in the summer it rained earlier than planned and we just put it off until unfortunately we had a leak so if we'd planned and gotten it done earlier and don't be afraid that's part of it i think i was hesitant because i hadn't done it before hesitant hesitant i was afraid to do the lap sealant but we did it it was Annoying, but easier now. Now that we know what to do, I think it's easier, right? Yeah. It's gonna be easier for next time because now we know what to do. It can be annoying to get off, but if you can't get it off, just scrub it down as best you can and put that new sealant on top so it's all shiny and white and happy like that. Because it was the cracking old yucky sealant that, that created the problem for us with our leaky water and the bathroom light. Check your seals and get that lap sealant on there. End of story. <laughs> Bye. Bye. We're going to go make some dinner and get down off this roof. Bye.